for today's video, we will try to answer an item coming from the 14th Philippine Mathematical Olympiad area stage. And here's the question. So give me this equation, x plus square root of x minus 1 plus square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x squared minus 1 equals 4. And x is a real number. Then our goal is to find the value of x. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so this question comes from the 14th Philippine Mathematical Olympiad area stage. And our goal is to find the value of x, wherein x is a real number, given this equation. So, to answer this kind of question, first, let's get the domain of the left-hand side of our equation. So, let's start with x. So, x can be any real number because x doesn't have a square root, so doesn't have any restriction. Now, since x is a real number, square root of x minus 1, x must be greater than or equal to 1 because the number inside this radical sign cannot be a negative number. Alright? And the domain for square root of x plus 1, x must be greater than or equal to negative 1. And the domain for square root of x squared minus 1, x must be less than or equal to negative 1, or x must be greater than or equal to positive 1. Now, finally, to find the domain of this left-hand side of our equation, what we're going to do is to get the intersection of these four ranges of x. And if we do that, if we get the intersection, we get that x must be greater than or equal to 1, meaning this is the domain of the left-hand side of our equation. So we will use this fact later on. So again, x must be greater than or equal to 1. If we get an answer, a value of x that is less than 1, then we cannot consider that value. So the allowed value of x must be greater than or equal to 1. Alright, so now let's find the value of x. So first, notice this factor square root of x minus 1 and square root of x plus 1. Because x squared minus 1, we can factor this out as square root of x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So this is just x squared minus 1. So let's have the factored form. And since x is greater than or equal to 1, x minus 1 is a positive number and x plus 1 is also a positive number, technically speaking. So we can rewrite this as square root of x minus 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 1. Now. Let's set aside this result, and what we're going to do is to get this equation. And now, since we have two different expressions, x minus 1 and x plus 1, so what we're going to do is first, let's add 1 on both sides to get x plus 1 right over here. So we will see the purpose later on. Now, 4 plus 1, this is just equal to 5. And since we have x plus 1 and x is greater than or equal to 1. x plus 1 must be greater than or equal to 0, of course. So we can rewrite this as square root of x plus 1 is to the power of 2 because we know x plus 1 is a positive real number. Now, at this point, since we have a lot of similar expressions, so what we're going to do is to let n be equal to square root of x plus 1 and m be equal to square root of x minus 1. So all of this term consisting of square root of x plus 1, this can be replaced with n. And all of this expression containing square root of x minus 1, let's replace this with the variable m like this. So we have n squared plus m plus n plus n times m equals 5. So let's set aside this result. Now let's get the original equation and on the other equation, we add 1 on both sides. So now let's subtract 1 on both sides. And 4 minus 1, this is just 3. Now, since x is greater than or equal to 1, x minus 1 is a positive real number also. So we can rewrite this as square root of x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 because we know x minus 1 is a positive real number. Now. 
since m equals square root of x minus 1, let's replace all the term consisting of square root of x minus 1 with the variable m like this. And of course, square root of x plus 1, let's replace this with n. So we have m squared plus m plus n plus m times n equals 3. So now, let's get these two results. Now notice, we have the same expressions m and, and m times n. So what will happen if we subtract these two equations? Of course, we need to subtract the first equation to the second because we have 5 is greater than 3. So let's have n squared minus m squared, the rest are gone, or 0, equals 5 minus 3. Now 5 minus 3, very simple, this is just 2. And we have a difference of 2 squared, so we can factor this out as n plus m multiplied by n minus m equals 2. Alright, so let's set aside this result. So maybe we will use this later on. Now instead of subtracting, why not? Let's add these two equations. And if we do that, we get n squared plus m squared equals 2n plus 2m plus 2mn equals 5 plus 3 or simply equal to 8. Now let's rearrange some terms a little bit like this because n squared plus 2nm plus m squared, we can factor this out nicely as n plus m raised to the power of 2 because this is just a perfect square trinomial. Now, we can factor out also this factor of 2 because this is common. So 2 multiplied by n plus m. Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of n plus m. And we can factor this out nicely because negative 8 is just 4 times negative 2. And positive 2 is just 4 plus negative 2. So the factored form of this quadratic equation in terms of n plus m must be equal to n plus m plus 4 multiplied by n plus m minus 2 equals 0. Now let's get the factored form. And since it is equal to 0, of course, at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that n plus m plus 4 equals to 0 or n plus m minus 2 equals to 0. Now, let's get the value of n plus m. On the first equation, n plus m equals negative 4. And the second equation, n plus m equals positive 2. Now, since n and m are both real numbers, because x is a real number, and x is greater than or equal to 1, meaning this n and m are both positive numbers. Since it is a positive number, n plus m cannot be a negative number. So n plus m cannot be equal to negative 4. So we cannot consider n plus m equal to negative 4. Now, what we're going to do is to consider this value n plus m equals positive 2. So now, we have n plus m equals positive 2 and n plus m multiplied by n minus m equals 2. We will use this two equation to result to answer this question. Now, n plus m, we know this is 2, so we can replace this with 2. And now, to get the value of n minus m, divide both sides by 2. So we get that n minus m be equal to 1. Let's focus on these two results. Now, we can get the value of m and solve for the value of x. And we can also get the value of n and solve for the value of x. Either way, we get the same result. So now, what we're going to do is to solve for the value of n because if we add these two equations, we can eliminate m, positive m, and negative m. So this will give us 2n equals 3. Divide both sides by 2, n equals 3 over 2. This is very simple. So now, we know that n equals 3 over 2, but we don't care to the value of n. We care to the value of x. Since n is also equal to x plus 1, we can say that square root of x plus 1 must be equal to 3 over 2. And we can now solve for the value of x. So to solve for the value of x, let's square on both sides. And 3 over 2 raised to the power of 2, this will give us 9 over 4. To solve for x, subtract 1 on both sides. This one can be written as 4 over 4. So 9 over 4 minus 4 over 4, this will give us 5 over 4. Now, 5 over 4 is technically greater than or equal to 1 because 5 over 4 is 1.25. So now, our claim is the value of x 
the only real value of x must be equal to 5 over 4. Now, let's check if this 5 over 4 satisfies the given equation. So, let's replace all x with 5 over 4. So, all x becomes 5 over 4. Now, let's simplify. Square root of 5 over 4 minus 1. Let's simplify first. 5 over 4 minus 1. This will give us 1 over 4. 5 over 4 plus 1. This will give us 9 over 4. Now simplify. Square root of 1 fourth. This will give us 1 over 2. And square root of 9 over 4. This will give us 3 over 2. Now using PEMDAS, let's multiply first. 1 half multiply by 3 over 2. This will give us 3 over 4. Now let's rewrite 1 over 2 with 2 over 4 to have the same denominator of 4. And 3 over 2 with 6 over 4. 4. Now, since we have the same denominator, let's add these four fractions. So, we have 5 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 or simply equal to 16. And 16 divided by 4, this will give us 4. And this is also equivalent to 4. Therefore, our answer is absolutely correct. So, the only real value of x that satisfies this equation, x plus square root of x minus 1, plus square root of x plus 1, plus square root of x squared minus 1 equals 4, is x equals 5 over 4. And as always, we are done.